In this video I'm going to demonstrate the Andrew UAV system, uh, which is a relatively easy and inexpensive way uh, to remotely operate your Argypilot based uh, drone. So um, what's slightly unique about the setup is that it involves um, actually mounting your Android phone or tablet onto your drone. Then you um, install this Andrew UAV application on it and then connect the tablet uh, to the autopilot's uh, USB port using a uh, USB OTG cable. And once you do that and start the application and connect to the internet, um, the application streams the uh, phone's video and also the Mavlink telemetry connection up into the cloud and then that allows you to make use of a, uh, an accompanying uh, web-based ground station uh, tool to remotely operate the vehicle. So here I am back at my desk uh, and I've got the Android UAV uh, web client open and I've also got a gamepad here which allows me to control the vehicle. Now you'll see on the ground station there's uh, two big views. There's the map view that I'm looking at now and I can see where the vehicle is. There's also a camera view so I can uh, see what uh, what the Android tablet is, is streaming. Slightly interestingly I can also switch the camera around so I can look backwards, see the tripod, just switch it back around again to forward. Now I'm going to make sure that I'm in manual mode and I'm going to arm the vehicle. Here we are. So now I'm driving it around. I've got my little... I'm in manual mode so the response is quite quick. I really should be in acro mode which would give me, allow me to more easily slow down the movements. There we go. I'm going to go for a little drive now. There we go. By the way, one thing that's really impressed me about the system is how uh, low the latency is on the on the video stream. There we are. Quite easily drive around. Stop for a moment. Oops car there, just make sure there's nothing behind me. Yeah, that looks okay. Oh, I forgot. I can actually also uh, record the video on the drone as well. That probably ends up with better quality than what is shown here. Of course, there's no limitation as to how far I can go because... Oops. Which is a little tricky to control. Yeah, there's the drone. It's up there. Could probably switch it into guided mode. Or I could just RTL it. Why don't I just RTL? See what happens. There it is. So now it's RTLing home. Anytime I can control the uh, the mode by changing these. Oops, it seems to have stopped. Switch back into manual mode again. Yeah, no, it's still fine. Oh, there was a tripod right, tripod right there. Okay, that's where we started from, so I'll just disarm it now. <laughs> 